Hi, I'm Kim. I'm Morgana. Welcome to Morris Jewelers News. This month on MJN, this show exists. Yay! Yay. <laughs> so our new show is going to be about all things jewellery, watches, style, fashion, beauty and anything else we can think of. Glad you could join us. In the news, world's second biggest diamond doesn't sell at auction. Chokers are in. Body chains are in. Vogue talks sculptural jewellery. Synthetic diamonds, are they unethical? Gold goes up again. Surprise. And Kate Winslet rocks. Feeling rough? Well, don't. Last month, the largest rough diamond in the world didn't sell at auction. The uncut 1,109 carat Lissadi La Rona stone didn't make its $70 million asking price. It is second only in size to the Cullinan diamond, later cut into the Great Star of Africa gem found in the British Crown Jewels, which was found in South Africa in 1905 and weighed in at 3,106 carats. Whoa. The Lissadi La Rona, which is the size of a tennis ball, when cut would have been 400 carats in weight. So what happens to the other 700 carat? Well, it's cut into other diamonds. They're not exactly going to throw it in the bin. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> and what was the highest bid then? $61 million. Only $61 million? <laughs> Cheap skates. What the hell would you do with a 400 carat diamond? How would you even wear it? I don't care. It's a 400 carat diamond. I think I'd find a way. Okay, so seriously, what is the biggest diamond you would wear? As big a one as I could get my hands on. <laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> I'd be more about quality than size. Once it gets too big, it can look a bit gaudy. So I'd say five carats, you know? Only five carats. Oh, <laughs> sure God love you. <laughs> so folks, what do you think? When is too much too much? Leave a comment below. A little bit less expensive, but no less out there, is the current trend in sculptural jewellery. Vogue has been talking about this recently. We all know how cool it is to have an armful of angles, but now with the likes of Louis Vuitton and Balenciaga showing the way on the catwalks, we're seeing chokers that take up your whole neck, which is very practical. Extremely. Yeah. Bangles that go from your wrist to your elbow and full body chains. And don't forget earrings of different lengths. Oh yeah. A stud in one ear and a drop in the other. Yeah. So we're not sure about all of these for everyday wear, but it's great to see people doing something new and unusual in jewellery. Just how wearing stacks of chrysalis bangles have become the norm, we're sure that these trends will make their way into stores and jewellery boxes all over the country very soon. So what do you guys think? Would you wear all of these together or just take one aspect of it? Gold has gone up again. That's a surprise. <laughs> Whenever it looks like we're going to get a break from the crazy high prices of gold, that's a technical term. I knew that. <laughs> Something else comes along to push it right back up. This time it's Brexit. Yeah, nice one Brexit. You're a bundle of fun. So why does the gold price go up? Well, lots of reasons really, but the main one would be fear. When investors get worried about the economy, politics or just the world in general, they buy gold. Gold holds its value well when everything else is falling and when these investors try to buy the limited amount of gold there is, it pushes the price right back up. Such a know-it-all. I know. Speaking of know-it-alls, there's been a war brewing over the marketing of synthetic diamonds and it's just gone boom. Well, folks have said some strong words anyway. Mm -hmm. This has a bit of a backstory, but it involves Leonardo DiCaprio, so hang in there. Mm, Leo. I know. So, synthetic diamonds are a thing. Like fakes? Nope, not fakes. They're real diamonds, but they're made by people instead of nature. Mm, technology and stuff. Uh-huh. Anyway, part of the marketing strategy of synthetic diamonds has been to push them as an ethical alternative to natural diamonds. Diamonds have been used by some pretty nasty people to pay for some pretty nasty weapons to do some pretty nasty things to other people. So is it like that movie Blood Diamond? Exactly. Is this the Leo bit? No, not yet. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the guys who's been really big into helping clean up the diamond industry is Martin Rappaport. In response to the marketing of synthetics as more ethical than natural diamonds, he had some fairly strong words saying, instead of helping diggers in Africa become socially responsible and supporting fair trade diamonds, manufacturers of synthetics are telling people not to buy from diggers. That is evil. Shots fired. And it does not stop there. He also wrote a letter to Arleo, who is an investor in one of these synthetic diamond manufacturers named Diamond Foundry. 
He said that Leo's support threatens the livelihoods of millions in Africa. So is Leo the bad guy? Well, according to Rappaport, he kinda is. By investing in synthetics instead of supporting the Africans to continue to improve their diamond industry, there is a chance that the production of diamonds and all the jobs involved will be moved from Africa to rich countries like America. There are countries in Africa, such as Botswana, that are almost entirely dependent on the diamond industry. And with the improvements in the industry over the past few decades, diamonds now pay for most of Botswana's schools, hospitals and other essential services. Gotcha. Needless to say, Diamond Foundry didn't take this lying down, calling Rappaport the ageing leader of the diamond industry who now represents everything that is wrong about it. However, it seems that their response didn't win the many fans, and the reality is that Rappaport has a really strong point. In fact, so strong was his argument that Diamond Foundry ended up offering to move one of their gem growers, which is a diamond making machine. I want one of them. I know. To Botswana. According to JCK, there is no response yet from the Botswana government on whether they will accept or not. I'm guessing not. Probably true. So, ethical considerations aside, would you wear a synthetic diamond? I probably would, but for something like an engagement ring, I think I'd want the real thing. Yeah, I agree. Definitely, Yeah. yeah. So, what are your thoughts on this argument? Would you prefer a natural or synthetic diamond? Leave a comment below. Right, we gotta talk Kate Winslet. Whenever you're ready, Kim. Whenever you're ready. Sorry. (laughs) We're sure you've all seen it by now, but there's a video of Kate that's gone viral in the past few days. If you haven't, we'll put it in the description link below. In it, she talks about when she was 14, being told by her drama teacher that if she was ever to become an actor, she would only get fat girl parts. Ouch. Thankfully, Kate didn't listen to this advice and in the clip encourages all young women not to listen to discouraging and demeaning advice like that. We agree, yeah? Yeah. Way to go, Kate. Yeah, suck it, drama teacher. (laughs) So that's it for the news. All the sources for today's stories are linked in the description below. If you like this video, click the like button. If you didn't, click the dislike button. For more news like this for Moore's Jewelers, click subscribe and comment below to give us your thoughts on all of these stories covered in today's show. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.